Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in Lobster House Restaurant. Because that is the name of this restaurant. In Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Also, we gotta talk to this guy. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in like that. We got a dress code, you see? I need to take you... I'll need to take that hat from you. Hmm. So are you saying that we can enter if I give you a hat? <clears throat> Taking Felix's request for that hat at face value, you, you must now find another hat to hand over from the pattern shown below. The hat you're looking for will be the same shape and size as the one shown above, but it may not be facing the same direction. We just have to find a hat. Now, I can... I wish there was a way uh, to to do this better, because like you can see, there's a there's clearly like a hat shape here, but like this isn't the right width. Nope. So it's like, if I remember correctly, it's it's a bit awkward to find. This one I remember sucks so bad. Yeah, even I'm struggling. Cause it's it is the same shape and size. Which means that it has to include some of these thin bars, because there's no other I think it's here. Use your stylus to outline the answer. I think it's this here. Is the hat. It says outline. It doesn't want me to it doesn't want me to cover the yeah, okay, it wants me to draw a circle. Or like not to draw a circle, but it, like it wants me to to draw the lines. This one I think I remember being very difficult because it's very specific as to what Consider it'll take. This puzzle solved. Yeah. That one somehow ah, was taken. Wonderful. Yeah, there's that. Yay. There we are, as requested. I provide you with that hat. Huh? Uh, Professor, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Be that as it may, I'm not taking my hat off. Let's go, Luke. But I was really looking forward to stopping in for a snack. A gentleman never takes off his hat, Luke, and that's all I have to say about it. This is too deep for me. Well, what about during a funeral? What? He said he never takes off his hat. He doesn't. Ever. Never, ever. You know, I have two horns. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I have enough to do this. No, I don't have enough to do this, because I could only get to 18. So that'd only be 21. But we'll come back. Okay, well, since the game yelled at me for and put the stuff three lower. Oh, sorry, I'm out of place. Oh, hello there. You're the fellow with Inspector Chumley, yes? Uh, the name's Barton, sir. I'm a constable serving under Inspector Chumley, sir. I feel obliged to let you know that you may want to reconsider bringing the child up this way. Why? What's up ahead? Things best left unknown until you're an older lad. My advice is to do about face and leave the area. I don't think he'll budge on this, Luke. We'll have to find another path leading up that way. So, uh, you see how the there's, um, on the map, there's some uh, red lights? Mm -hmm. This would be a red light district. 
So, uh, yeah, children best not be brought to the red light district. Oh, hey, look, a dog. Like, do the red lights mean, like, adult-themed places or something? Yes, a red... Red light districts are, uh, famous in, ta like, in places where, uh, prostitution is legal. Uh, so it is for things like that. So, yes! That is, a uh, 100% what that means. And bow wow. Yep, I'm trying to click on everything but the dog. Okay, so I could go left. Yeah, let's, let's click on dog. Bow wow. Precious. Uh, <laughs> doesn't appear to be very in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Uh, hey there, fellow. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Yo! Good heavens, Luke, are you hurt? I don't think he's in the mood for conversation right now. Dude, let's find another way through town. Passing through here is rather difficult right now. Okay, so we could go into the museum. But again, I will try to avoid that. Okay, let's go. Not that way. Nope. Okay, we're well, going this the way. Museum. Let's have a closer look at the gate, shall we? This must be the museum. But the gate's shut tight. I don't think they're open right now. I was hoping we'd find some useful information inside, but there's no sense in standing around waiting. For the time being, let's continue our investigation elsewhere. Worthless. See what? The ghost, of course. One just floated by a oogity boogity, I swear. <laughs> oh, Don, I must have missed it. I'm the oogie boogie man. That's the twelfth time today he's flown by. Golly, this must be the spot for ghost watching. I've been here for hours. It's just so fascinating. I'm totally captivated. I'm sure it's all very exciting, but would you care to take a break and have a cup of tea? That sounds great. I scream like a banshee wherever I spot a ghost, and boy, is my throat sore. But if I'm take gonna take a tea break, let's make it a mysterious one. Woo! Oh, that means I like something sweet and kind of unusual. Okay, so this is not unusual. So let's see what we can make. Now here's the uh, here's the hard part of this, where you have to try to find. Uh, like, different combinations that work. I can't believe that worked. My, what a peculiar blend this is. Subtle and spicy at once. And sweet at the end of boot. I especially like how the initial heat helps to balance out the sweetness that comes later. I never imagined spicy and sweet could work together so well. Well, I think you found the one she's looking for. Uh, for fuck, yes it is. I cannot By believe. sheer accident. <clears throat> hey, there really is something a little mysterious about the way this tea tastes. Good job. I'm glad you liked it. Oh yeah, it was great. Let me thank you by telling you where all the creepiest ghosts in town hang out. Folsons has oodles of ghost watching spots. I've creeped out enough already, but thanks anyway, I guess. Did you see that watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? No. Uh, 
before we do that, actually, I'm gonna back up and try to go down to the other section. Where, uh... Mm -hmm. Where, uh, Barton didn't want us to go. Ili Iliana. Oh, Miss Blue Guy, it's been ages. I do hope you find what you're looking for. Yeah, I wish I had told Samuel to track it down. But the boy is as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. It leaves wrinkles in that dis... Dinguished. Dinguished brow of yours. T. What do you, you say, Mr. B? Would you like to come inside for an unwind, an unwind for a bit? Professor, do you see that? Mr. Beluga just went into that cabaret. Let's have a look at look, shall we? Professor, are you seriously suggesting that I go into a cabaret? I may know what it is, but that doesn't mean that I'm that I it's age appropriate. A theater of some sort. Um, yeah, I'm sure they're putting on a show in there. dark and handsome care come in and catch the show tonight I apologize madam but we're in the middle of oh you getting shy on me don't worry hot stuff I don't buy <laughs> not unless you want me to oh and who's your little friend there aren't you a precious little boy I'm so concerned they're gonna say don't worry we have somebody age appropriate for him too and just be like ah uh... No. Mia! Sorry to change the subject, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Beluga into your... Cabaret. Cabaret. Oh, are you friends with Mr. B? Something like that, yes. Tell me, does Mr. Beluga visit often? Mr. Beluga is certainly a patron of... Ours, that's for sure. I can't say much, though. Oh, that's what they're calling it these days. A patron of the arts? Dear lord. Oh, but you are a, a handsome devil, mister. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you've got the brains to match those looks, and maybe I'll let a few facts slip. I'm pretty sure you're not looking for brain. The jeweled necklace. I have this old necklace, but the thing is, it's not really my taste anymore. I, decided, I think it's technically her, but I don't care. I decided to sell it. And when I was getting it appraised the other day, I realized something weird. Each stone is worth a different amount, but if I break the necklace in three pieces, the three gem strands will be worth the same amount as one another. Can you believe it? See if you can figure out where do you gotta cut to make that happen. Okay, so. Uh, once again, we get to have the fun situation of adding these up. So we have. Uh, I'm gonna do this one ca by calculator. The amount of math on this is gonna be too high. So we have 9 plus 12 plus 1 plus 5 plus 8. Plus 11, 2, 4, 3, 6, 10, 7, okay, 78. We want that to be divided by 3. What? No, divided by 3. 26. Okay. So, we have 11. 11, so we need 15. Uh, so that, that, and that would be 15. Okay, so let's assume that that's a line and that's a line. Uh, so now we just need to get everything else to 26. So 4, 7, 13, 23, over, like over. So that's not going to work. Um, yeah, 13, 23, yeah, we need 3. That ain't gonna work. Okay. I can't put the 12 and 11. 
I can't put the 12 and 11 in different strands, and I presume I can't put the 1,000 in different strand, in the same strand either. No, there's definitely no way to put the... No. So, there has to be a line somewhere in here. So, if, if it's not this line, the only thing I could do is go up by one. Which would be 8, 13, 14. So 6, 8, 14. Something's wrong with my math here. Hold on. 11. And 8 is 19, 20, 25. I need 100, so I can't do that. So I cannot go. This cannot be part of the same chain as the 1100. We just said that this route doesn't work, so the 500 can't be part of the strand. So that would be 21, uh, 25, I'd need 100, that can't be part of it, so it has to go this way. So 11, 14, 16, 26, that's the line there. And then 9716, so there. So it's there, and there, and there. And now to test my theory. Yep. And there we have it. 2600. Handsome and smart, you're some catch, aren't you? Consider me smitten. About Mr. B, he's definitely here looking for something, but I can't say I know what. The search must be going badly because he's kind of crabby. I never I see him now. No, that's a problem. I'm a performer, not a news shirt. Mm hmm. I think Barton is now, yeah, no longer blocking the place, so we can just come and go if you please. Um, insert joke about coming uh, and going. It's Granny's place. It's a photo. See, there's that shack again. Granny Rilton's shack. Yeah, and I'm presuming there should be no puzzles in here right now. There's a shack in a shack. Uh, what's what's the point of having a shack inside a shack? She, she gives the puzzle. Granny Riddle didn't have a puzzle. No, she never has a puzzle. Yep, set up a place in town. Yep. Yeah, so she has a house, and her house is inside of her house. Okay, so we can't enter the cabaret for safety reasons. You don't want to look for a puzzle. That is a puzzle. Uh, we already read that. Thought we took a photo. No, we did take a photo, and I could do that right now. Give me a second. Explore around this map. It's, it is not going to stop until I click on the watchtower. Okay. Good enough for now. Let's check the photos. Now, uh, I think it's just on the camera. Yep, zero out of three. So we now have to find every discrepancy in the two photos. Uh, I found one. To test my theory. Ha! Huh, wonderful. First difference in the photo. Okay. There's. Let's see. Hmm. 
Something looks off here. Because this looks different. Uh, no, that's fine. That looks the same, that looks the same. That's the same, that's the same. Ah, the chimney. Yep, chimney's different. Consider this puzzle solved. Huh, wonderful. And... Some of these get very Does difficult it to see. Bigger? I think it's bigger, but it's not relevant. Because it's just all stuff within the shot of the frame. Okay. Ah, oh, right there. Consider this puzzle solved. There's no branch ah, split there. Wonderful. Mm. Now there's a hidden puzzle somewhere here. Oh yeah. There's now a so now we've done I forgot about this stupid thing. So we did the hidden puzzle. So now we have to backtrack to that spot. And now we can find a hidden puzzle there. So now if we click around mm, on the map, we'll find a hidden puzzle. puzzle. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't a puzzle. What we just did there, that was not a puzzle. That was just spot the difference to trigger a hidden puzzle appearing. On the edge of the forest lives a particularly messy mole. He bur his burrow is so clogged with trash that eventually he has to tidy up. However, being lazy, he decides to clean his place while doing the least possible work. In order to pick up all the trash in his burrow without passing through any one tunnel twice, which of the holes, A through G, should the mole start cleaning from? While moving through any tunnel twice is forbidden, he can pass through any junction as often as he wants. So he wants to... He just wants to go through all tunnels without going through them twice. Okay, so... Obviously, for stuff like this, he has to go... He's gonna have to go through, like, in weird ways. Because, like... This has, there's two ways in here, there's four ways in here, there's four ways in here, there's four here, there's four here, four here, and three here. He has to start with C. He has to start from C because he I'm cannot physically, there's no way to pass through it huh. twice. Wonderful. So if he didn't start from C, one of the tunnels wouldn't get done yeah it, you don't actually even have to do the, draw the path it's just you have to know this has three paths in so you have to start from there because if you didn't start from there one of these routes would just never get cleaned at all that was a lot of work it was not maybe for the mole yeah that's fair Let's click through the dialogue. I've got it's another one. It's not every day I've seen new faces. Are you visiting from out of town? Yes, in no way, but we're not here to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Illusion Box. Have you heard of it? Mm, no, that's the first I've heard of it. I wish I had some information for you. Oh, I just can't let visitors to our great town go away empty-handed. Yeah, it's not a keychain, but please take this puzzle of mine. A souvenir of full sense. I'm not sure which would disturb- it disturbs me more. Yeah, this being his mouth, or if this was his mouth. Because, like, if you ignore this line, like, that- looks like that could be his mouth too yeah <laughs> and it's like mm. five shapes are arranged in a sequence but the fourth shape is missing use the four visible shapes to determine which it is it's big and now to test my theory that's <laughs> that was huh, not wonderful hard. 
This one's shaped like a two. This one's shaped like a five. This one's shaped like a three. This one's shaped like a four. Oh. I didn't see that. Yeah. Just immediately like four. Nice work there, fellows. I hate to burst your bubble, but if your lead on this Elysian box led you here, then maybe I'll look. See many of the residents who were falsehood experts skedaddled a few years ago. It all started happening over strange rumor that spread through the town like wildfire. Was the rumor a fire? Uh, so, even so, if we are in the right place, there may be no one left to ask. Tell me, what was this rumor? Some silly thing about a curse, I'm not entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I often find myself wondering where all those people who left False Sense ended up. A good question. Okay. Oh, I accidentally clicked them again. Okay, let me just give one final check for any coins. Okay, let's go inside. Gotta check the grocery store. It's a store of groceries. That's one, that's two. And if there's another one, I don't think we're gonna find it. Let's talk to the guy. Whoa, this place, this whole place is covered in garlic and it definitely smells like it, bleh. Yes, it's very, Pugnant. It's a good thing I brought a handkerchief. My eyes are watering. Why no such as Bean in here? Garland. His name is Garland. Finally, some customers. Come in, come in. It's been months since anyone came by to my shop. Uh, my shop's been out of favor with the townsfolk recently. I can see why. I can smell why. It's hard to breathe, let alone shop around all the garlic. So it smells big, well. It's not here to class up the shop, you know. It's here for protection. We got what you might call a bit of a vampire problem here in town. And garlic keeps them away, see? Vampires? Seriously? Do I look like I'm joking, boy? See that castle over there? That's where the freaky guy lives. At least, that's what people say. I'm not saying I believe the talk, but you can never be too prepared, you know. So, just to be clear, this guy put garlic up to protect from vampires. Mm -hmm. Vampires that, at least from what we can tell, are, like, since this is, they're talking about the castle, are probably the Hertz family that we've heard about. Go! I, I don't know who that one was. Ah! That scared me silly, Professor. What's making all that ruff ruckus? I don't know, but I think it's coming from right above us. Quick, Luke, up the stairs. But, Professor, we've got to check all the things for puzzles and hint coins. And there's a photo! There's, we have to junk to do here! We can't leave yet. Whoever's dying can wait. Okay. Let's see. Okay, well, first off, there is no blood stain there. <laughs> and or wine stain, whatever it's supposed to be. Just, I mean, gasoline. Let's just... Gas it's red! How much red gasoline are you seeing? Uh, again, I think the sun picture is lower because the cops cut off. We can ignore that. Uh, let's see. No crack in the mirror. Let's see if this works. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. I believe there are photos with more differences, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Just 
so many intricate details. I gotta admit, I'm not seeing anything else. So whatever it is, it's very difficult to see. I'm sure somebody in the audience has already seen. got oh it's it's gonna be it's something like the length of this isn't it it's gonna be something stupid like that or like one of these is gonna be shorter by like one or something stupid i mean the only thing that i see is this one yeah but that's like that wouldn't that's you can see at the bottom here it wouldn't even be in shot so it's like yeah i can't even see any difference from that standpoint Oh, no, I can. Right here. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Such a difficult yeah. thing to see. <clears throat> Down go, the hidden puzzle. The fake coins. There are ten coins in each of the five bags below. One of the bags is filled with fake coins that are lighter than the real ones. A real coin weighs ten units, but a fake coin is one unit lighter. If you're using a scale that can register up to 200 units, what's the fewest number of times you could use the scale to find the one bag filled with fake coins? Is it three? Um... It's, you have to guarantee. Wait, hold on. There are 10 coins in each of the five bags. So 10 coins that weigh 10 versus 10 coins that weigh nine. Oh, it's it's something like it's gonna be yeah, it's something like two or three because the fewest I mean well what do they mean by the fewest? Because you could just put one on there and in, and it be the wrong one. So are we saying the fewest that guarantees you will find? Because they obviously you can weigh all five and find it. So five is could do it. But, like, you could do it this way, where you say, I weigh these two together, and that'll be 200. And then I weigh these two, and that'll be 200. And that'll be guaranteed that one. Or it's, I weigh this one, and get this one as two. And I weigh, if I weigh these two, and then weigh this one, and it's one, it's like this one. So I think three, I think three is the minimum. But I, I don't know what they mean by this question. If they're saying the minimum they number that guarantees. Okay. So, like. Oh, my. This one is quite formidable. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand what the question they're asking here is. It could be one. Yeah, I don't I don't know what the question's asking. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do one 
It was not one, I'm gonna do I'm two. To test my theory. It's yeah. one. It's one. Okay, so it's it's just fucking luck. You just I'm luckily get the right one. Puzzle unsolved. Oh, for fuck's sake. That is so stupid. Oh my god. So yeah, you take one coin from one bag, two coins from two bag, the two second bag, three coins from three the third bag, four coins in the fourth bag, and so you just figure out how much it's off by. If it's off by one, it's bag one. If it's off by two, it's bag two. If it's off by three, it's bag three. Four, it's bag four. Five, it's bag five. That's so stupid. Well, that puzzle actually make me break a sweat. Yeah, that... The answer... I would have just guessed one because you get lucky, but it is saying that there's a systematic way to do it in one. They needed to say what's the minimum number of bags you need to weigh to guarantee you get... Um... The fake coins? Yeah, the, you, the guarantee you find the fake coins. Because, yeah, you could just get lucky and do one. But also, 200, or like 100 pounds versus 90 pounds, you might be able to weigh, feel that out. You might not have to weigh it at all. You just pick up a bag and be like, hmm, this one seems lighter than all the rest of the bags. Ooh, that's a Yeah, I mean, so that much. question... It's by 10 say, pounds. That they all weigh the same. So. Yeah, except for one, which weighs 10 pounds less because it has 10 coins in it that are 90, or 9 pounds each. So it's like 100, 100 pounds versus 90 pounds. You could probably feel the difference. Yeah. Gee off. Bah, goddamn vampires, get off my property. Uh, are you alright, mister? Huh? Who goes there? You don't need to tell me, I know. Vampire ain't when I see him. Well, wait a second. What are you talking about? We just hit, heard a scream and came to investigate. So he will say... Won't do you no good. I see through your vampire lies. Do you want me to believe you're not a vampire? Solve this puzzle and do it quickly. Can vampires not solve puzzles? I, I don't know. In a quiet town, there's a tower that commands a view of the whole town. Since you can see the whole town from the tower, logic is you able to see the top of the... You should be able to see the top of the tower from everywhere in town. However, there's one place in town shown on the map where you clearly have no chance of seeing the top of the tower. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a simple question. It's like if you're from Street View, you can't. It, yeah, it's it, it's way simpler question you're thinking of. It's it's right here. It's you're in the tower. You literally cannot see the top of the tower from inside the tower. That that is it. Here goes. There is there is nothing more to it than that. It's just the tower it's can okay. see every. You can see the top of the tower from everywhere, or the top of the tower can see everywhere in town, but not and everywhere in not town. Itself. That is not the tower. Yeah, from inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. No. Who are you go for a vampire? Unless you're not one of the bloodsucking underlings after all. If that's how it is, then listen to me when I tell you, you best keep an eye on the castle over yonder. It's the nest of one of the most fearsome undead creatures around, a real live vampire. A real live vampire, you say? Tell me say it, buddy. Vampire. Finding a lead out here is pretty slow going, huh? Indeed, perhaps our only chance really is to wait for the er, Harrison Museum to open. Gosh, if that's the case, maybe we should revisit the museum. You never know, might have opened while we were away. Hmm, alright, you got a point. I hope the place proves more useful to us this time than it did last. They decide to go to the museum again. Okay, guys, that's yep. going to be it for this episode. We will come back next time and continue on in Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Until then, the future is very uncertain.
What is certain is you guys are awesome, and there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. Yeah,